Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. Okay, so imagine it's Saturday morning and the kids are just hanging around the house. And so you say to yourself, where should we go to today? Well, our next destination just happens to be the perfect place. In fact, this destination is so exciting, your kids will be begging you to bring them back over and over again. So get ready y'all, because we're on our way to the amazing and very fun Museum. Opening over three years ago, right in the heart of San Antonio, this unique children's museum offers a ton of one-of-a-kind exhibits, unlike anything in the entire country. Hey everyone, we are standing in front of the Duzium Museum. Try saying that five times fast. And as you can see, I'm no kid, but my inner child is bursting with curiosity. So what do you say? Y'all ready to explore? From an interactive puppet parade to a musical staircase to a pretty cool robot named Baxter, each exhibit is designed to help children strengthen their bodies and minds while giving them a place to discover, learn, explore, and create. First up, I met up with the Duzium CEO, Daniel Minnelli, to learn a little bit more about this fascinating facility. It's the museum for hands-on learning. Each exhibit asks a little bit more of the children, but it, it also is something that they can return to and it can be a different experience when they do. It's an experience that the child can construct partly on their own. They have a lot of autonomy, a lot of freedom, and it's really their experience. It's really San Antonio's museum for kids. That's perfect. And not only is it educational, y'all's philosophy is the power to play. So Absolutely. what does that exactly mean in y'all's terms? Well, play is intuitive to kids. You don't have to teach them how to do it. Yeah. They jump right in and they automatically adopt the roles that suit them personally. And our hope is that when they do this, they play in a group, sometimes with new children they've never met before, they discover something about themselves, yeah. something as a learner, as a doer. They discover what they're curious about, good at, passionate it about and it's, it's a great pleasure to see this unfold. I am so excited to, to get going. Do you mind if we take a look around? We'd love it. Awesome. All right, Daniel, so we are at Dream Tomorrow today, and yeah. you said this is one of your favorite ones. So what was the goal in creating this? Well, we wanted to celebrate the 300th anniversary of the city by asking children to envision the next 300 years. And we developed an exhibit that gives them the tools and technology to think about the future in very practical ways. Dream Tomorrow Today is truly an imaginative exhibit. It displays everything from art made of waste. These flowers are made from trash bags. To a censored enabled slide. <laughs> and one of my favorite parts, Sketchtown. And the kids create their own concept, their own idea of a home or transportation of the future. They scan it into a portal, and this huge mural becomes a living document of all their ideas. Look! <laughs> and the whole idea is that the child's idea and concept becomes part of the shared exhibit. As you move through from Sketchtown, you come into a layer of augmented reality, which is a fancy way of saying there are these amazing little tokens, and each of them represents part of a city. And when you put them on this design table, the iPad picks them up and they become three-dimensional objects, and it shows kids how to design in a virtual space. The do part of your future means to envision a career. So we ask kids to interact and to tell us what they're passionate about. It'll propose a career for you in the future. A sustainability chemist is what they've determined for you. I'll stick to my day job. <laughs> Welcome back to Yellow, Texas, where we are spending the day at San Antonio's unique children's museum, the Duzium. So far, we've walked through the incredible Dream Tomorrow Today exhibit, and now we're meeting up with Meredith for a glimpse inside Spy Academy. So here, children can learn how to become spies. Yeah. This one's geared for the older ages. It's 5 to 11, um, and it's really all around the concept of mathematics. Okay. So they're learning pattern recognition, early algebraic thinking, logic, um, but it's all through the lens of being a spy, so it's a lot more fun than a math exhibit. Right. <laughs> if you're going to be a true spy, you got to dress for the yeah. occasion. Uh, meet. Meet us at... Meet us at... Me... This guy. Me... Me... Yeah. M... I... D... Mid... Midnight. Me is a mid... Okay, now this is your agent alias, so what is your spy name? Um, oh, no. okay. 
horses. There you go. Continue. Yeah. It's a great spy face. <laughs> I know. Agent Yolo, Texas. <laughs> Next, it was time for Little Town, which is literally a little town. There's a trolley, an airport. Man, I wish uh, airport security was this easy nowadays, right? An H-E-B, a car wash, construction zones, and everything else you can think of that gives toddlers a small taste of the adult world. Oh my goodness, gas prices, man. The museum also features an outdoor, state-of-the-art playground you'll need to see to believe. So to show us around, we met up with Eli at Waterworks. So welcome to Waterworks, Thank a fun you. way to learn and keep cool in the summer with our water features. You can learn a lot about physics by watching balls get suspended in air by water, or you can create different dams to watch them and see how the force of the water carries the balls, and you can manipulate those different motions. Oh, wow. It's fun, it's educational, but most of all, it's great for the summer when it's super hot outside. How do you do this? That's cool. Nice. This is the Big Climb. It was designed by a German playground design uh, group. Um, it's uh, geared for older kids, but it's fun for kids of all ages. Awesome. What a great structure. It's a this lot of great. fun. It's got some really great architecture, and it is really cool to see how quickly you can go through the obstacle course. All right. So this is the treehouse. It's a cool, fun place where you can hang out, maybe read some books, or they can just sit and relax and ring the giant wind chimes. It's a lot of fun. It's very zen right here. As our time at the museum came to a close, it was clear that we had only just begun to scratch the surface of what this amazing institution had to offer. From bringing imagination to life, to helping their dreams take flight, to helping them retain more of what they learned at school over the summer, the Duseum is opening a new world to a whole new generation of learners. And that is an experience you just can't put a price on. Discover what it takes to learn, explore, and play by visiting theduseum.org to plan a magical day for you and your family. All right, y'all, sadly, that is all the time we have here today on Yellow Texas. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, it's a great state, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see y'all later.